so we left the town this morning around 9.45. We hitched a ride from the post office. Some random guy came and offered us ride to the trailhead. The Humber Park trailhead back on the Devil's Slide to the PCT. So my initial plan was not to do the peak called Mount San Jacinto, which is off the trail by three miles, get to the summit and get back on the trail. I just wanted to do the PCD, continue and you know go to the town tomorrow, get the resupply done and all the things. But unfortunately, I haven't checked the route properly and I got off the trail. I'm on the way to the summit right now. So I thought, you know, came a mile off the trail, so I might as well go two more miles and then get the summit, peak bag it, get back on the trail and you know, just keep going. What's well, a big deal, right? So, yeah, stop to take lunch right now. Do some snacks I have here. And after this, I'm gonna push directly to the summit and get, get back down onto the trail and then, you know, camp there ever. That's the plan for the day. Just got the crampons on. It's half a mile from the summit, even less, I think. It's completely snow from here. We're gonna leave our backpacks here and then head out to the summit which is 0.3 miles from here. Back the peak right now at 10,834 feet and our way back. Such a beautiful day with so many good views out here. It's incredible. Yeah, you, should bring that, you should bring that camera up here, dude. Like See the town down there? That's Cabazon. And that's where I'm heading right now. It's still like 19 miles from my place. And it's gonna be a good place to stop for the night and have some burger. So I haven't filmed a lot since yesterday evening because I haven't done many miles yesterday, probably around seven miles or eight miles, I think. But the thing was, we actually went off the trail to climb the peak Mount San Jacinto, which was not part of the PCT. So it was originally not part, part of my plan as well. I didn't want to do the peak because I wanted to cover more ground and get to the uh, next town, which is Cabazon. But I'm probably not going to get to the town until tomorrow morning anyway. So when the post office is open, I can get my resupply box in. But uh, something happened yesterday evening, which kind of made me slow down, just wait at a point for my friends. So two of my buddies, Medicine Man and then Green Butters, went to climb the peak to summit Mount San Jacinto around 5 p.m. Yeah, that's not a smart move to do. And they were probably freezing their butt off because they weren't wearing any jackets, not very don't have much insulation on them, not much water, not enough food, and they both were carrying only one headlamp together. That's not even a bad thing if you have the exact trail and everything is laid out in front of you. So there was no trail as today. When we did the peak, when we were coming down from the summit on the north face, down back to the PCT, it was a little gnarly because there was no trail. It was all covered in snow. We couldn't see the tracks anywhere. So we had to push back our way out and then uh, some sketched out routes up there, which is not really good when it's especially getting dark. Even they had to push back a lot, you know, scrape their knees and ankles and their palms and everything. But somehow they made it back around 8 p.m. So we were just waiting for them at the trailhead of the PCT, hoping that they would come back safe and then, you know, we don't need to call for any rescue or we don't need to go ourselves to help them. So in that perspective, I was just sitting there and didn't feel like filming much. But now this morning again, I'm back on the trail ahead of everyone, the rest of the crew a little bit, not a lot, a little bit, just I started in a hope to make it to the town before 4 p.m. But it was a 20 mile, 21 mile day and I still have 14 miles in front of me and it's 1 p.m. right now and I'm probably not going to make it today. So I'm going to take it easy from now. It's getting really hot too. So, you know, rehydrate, eat, take it easy and then get back to the town tomorrow morning, have a burger and then keep hiking. That's the plan.
So there's a gift for the PCT hikers over here. So let's see what's there inside. Hmm. What does it say? Dear hikers, please take a buff as a gift from DNA, Mama Bear plus me. The photos were taken by me. They hiking between Mount Laguna plus White Water. The little little PCT signs have names of some of my favorite PCT trail angels. Wishing you the best, the plus the buff, many miles together, maybe even to Canada. Last year buffs made it. I'm sure my buff will make it, DNA. Thank you so much for the gift. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna keep this buff with me right now. So the transition is really interesting. Yesterday night it was freezing cold. My fingers were kind of numb, my feet was extremely cold, they were numb. So we camped at about, I don't know, freezing temperatures because we were at 9,000 feet elevation. And today we dropped down to 1,000 feet and this morning when I woke up it was really warm. Even all night long I was kind of sweating in my sleeping bag. So it was an interesting transition. Got back into the Palm Spring Desert and now we're heading into the town Cabazon and get the In-N-Out Burger. That's the plan for the day. So the thing is it's just 7 a.m. right now and it feels like it's already like 12 or something. Gotta gotta play the water game cool. Just underneath the Interstate Highway 10, close to Capazon, and we found some trail angel, trail magic stuff happening right here. It's a hiker box right there, and some sodas in there. Some clothes and stuff, and water and everything. Thanks for all the PCT community out here.